Agent X, do you copy? The truck bomb is circulating through the city as we speak, so we don't have much time. The mark should be now within your sector. So we know exactly who you are. We know exactly what's going on. I know that there's a truck and it has a bomb. It's gonna go off. Right now it's in a truck that's encircling the city. After that truck travels 15 miles, the bomb will go off. And you know the parametric equations that model the movement of that truck. Are you gonna tell me? No way in hell. Ah! Ah! So how about now? You'd have better luck trying to integrate sine squared x by hand. Well, I see how this is gonna be. See, right now, you're not gonna tell me what I wanna know. And every time that you don't tell me what I want, I'm gonna shoot something. And trust me, it'll be something you're gonna miss. That's so you tell me? If I'm trying to remember. I just, I can't remember. Better do a good job. I'm trying to remember. Wake up. So you want to tell me what those equations are? I'm still trying. Start remembering. Now, I'm gonna count down from five. 
And when I reach zero, I'm going to start with your kneecap. And you're going to miss it. So here we go. Five. Hold on one second. Four. Cor I'm trying. Three. I, I, wait, I almost got it. Two. Fine. Fine, all right, all right, all right. The equations the model of the truck are x equals t squared plus 3t plus 2. And y? Y. Y, y, equals, y equals t cubed minus 4t plus 2. Wow. Thank you. There you have it. Can you let me down? Just let me down here. Let me go. Well, why would I do such a thing? Just, you have no use for me anymore. You're absolutely right. I guess all functions have their limits. Amy, do you copy? Loud and clear. Great. Okay, so the equations are x equals t squared plus 3t plus 2 and y equals t cubed minus 4t plus 2. Can you run some numbers? Can I run some numbers? What do I look like, an A-B student? Touche. Work your magic. So now that we know the two equations for x and y, and we know that the bomb explodes after the truck has traveled 15 miles, with the distance in miles and the time in hours, we can solve for the dx dt and dy dt to get dy dx, and then solve when dy dx is equal to zero, thus giving us a time of 1.15 hours, when the uh, truck will be at a minimal velocity and easiest to intercept. But we have to make sure that the truck will not have exploded by that time. Thus, we use the Arnklang formula to calculate the distance the truck has traveled between t equals 0 and t equals 1.15 hours. Using this Arnklang formula, we can plug in the equations for dy dx and set that uh, less than 15. And thus, we can see that 15 is greater than 5.89. At this time, the bomb has not yet exploded. Its position at the time of the interception will be x of 1.15 is equal to 6.77, and y of 1.15 is equal to negative 1.07, with the origin at the city hall. Time to relay this information to the strike force. Got it. We need to intercept the truck at t equals 1.15, and at which point it will be at the point x equals 6.77, y equals negative 1.07. Agent X, I have the information. Good work, Agent Y. Send the information to the strike force. Roger, I'm sending the coordinates to the strike force now. Q, Burgatron? I just sent the data to your flight system. Do you copy? Can you take out the target? Roger. I think we can go through and do that. We're on our way. We're halfway there. You guys are doing great.